Malaria in pregnancy isn't just a fever. It's a silent killer. From hidden parasites in the placenta to life-threatening risks for mother and baby. What every nurse and doctor must know starts here. Stay with us. This could save lives. Picture this. You are in a rural clinic and a pregnant woman walks in, looking pale and exhausted. Her temperature is high. She feels like she wants to vomit and she is clearly fatigued. After reviewing her records, you realize she is 24 weeks along in her pregnancy. Now, ask yourself what could this be? One word comes to mind, malaria. But why is she, a pregnant woman, more at risk? Malaria is caused by a parasite from the Plasmodium genus, transmitted through the bite of an infected Anopheles mosquito. But here's the catch. Pregnancy suppresses a woman's immune system, making her more vulnerable to infections like malaria. This isn't just any infection, it's an invader with a dangerous trick up its sleeve, especially when it comes to pregnancy. Here is where things get tricky. Malaria parasites have a favorite hiding place, the placenta. Think of the placenta as a lifeline between the mother and the baby, providing oxygen and nutrient. When malaria attacks it, it disrupts this crucial connection, putting both mother and baby in danger. This silent attack can lead to complications like anemia, stillbirth, or even maternal death. But how do you recognize the signs before it's too late. Malaria can show up in two forms, uncomplicated or complicated. Let's start with uncomplicated malaria. You will see symptoms that seem fairly common. Fever spiking above 37.5 degrees Celsius, a relentless headache that just won't go away, sweating, chills, body aches, nausea, vomiting, and sometimes joint pain. It sounds like a bad flu, right? But don't let it fool you. Even uncomplicated malaria can escalate quickly. Now, complicated malaria is where things take a sharp turn. Imagine that same patient, but now she is showing signs of severe anemia, jaundice, or even drowsiness. Her body could go into shock or worse, convulsions or respiratory distress. In extreme cases, she might become unconscious or fall into a coma. This is no longer just a fever, it is a medical emergence. And time is running out, especially for pregnant women. Here is a critical challenge. In pregnancy, malaria can be silent. A woman might have the infection but show no symptoms. Why? Because the parasites are hiding in the placenta, making it hard to detect in regular blood tests. But even without symptoms, the risk is real. If undiagnosed, the consequences can be devastating for both the mother and the baby. The impact of malaria during pregnancy is frightening. Think about it. Untreated malaria can cause maternal anemia, which could lead to maternal death. It could result in spontaneous abortion or stillbirth. For the baby, we are talking about low birth weight, prematurity, and developmental issues like intrauterine growth restriction. And that's just the beginning. This is why diagnosing malaria early is critical to saving lives. And the effects of malaria don't stop at birth. Babies born to mothers with malaria may face a host of complications like jaundice, which if left untreated can lead to carnicterus, which is a severe brain damage. They may even be 
born with congenital malaria and in some cases develop pulmonary edema where fluid fills their lungs, making breathing a struggle. This is why early interventions matters for both the mother and the newborn. Malaria is not just another fever. For pregnant women, it's a silent and deadly threat. As nurses and doctors, you are the front line of defense. By staying vigilant, recognizing the symptoms and acting quickly, you can save both the mother and baby. Remember, early diagnosis and treatment are key. Don't let this invisible killer go unnoticed. Join us in the next video where we dive deeper into the treatment and management of malaria in pregnancy. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on life-saving information.